Good morning, W. Ross. Today is Monday, December 18th, 2017. And it looks like only seven more days till Christmas, one week. And first off, with Miss Gillen's period one and period four cl- drama classes, please report to the communications lab for class today, which is across the hall from Miss Cressel's room. Next up, we have Lily with an announcement. Thank you, Alex. I hope everyone had a great weekend and has brought in their money today because today is the first day we are selling candy grams. That's right. At lunch today behind front administration, there will be student council um, executives selling candy grams today, and each candy gram costs a dollar. And what you can do with this candy gram, you can write a note, and you can attach it to the candy gram, and it will be delivered to a special someone or a friend, whoever it is that you care about. And we will also be selling tomorrow. And don't forget that Friday is Tacky Sweater Day. It was the week before holidays, and all through the school, not a student was quiet, no matter what rule. Every staff member was tired, but hit the mood well. It was time to be done, even the librarian could tell. So she thought, she thought, what should we do? I know, she said, let's celebrate all week. Each day will be themed and treats will be shared. This will sure stop the staff from pulling out their hair. They can take a break from their day from the science and math and come get a treat to avoid Christmas wrath. On Monday, it's candy canes. It's cookies on Tuesday. Wednesday, hot chocolate. Let's all shout hooray. Then on Thursday, what will it be? Clementines for all, for you and for me. And what about Friday, the last day of the week? Come for a movie and stay. Last week, the WRMS wrestling team took another road trip to Stratford Northwestern High School and brought home six medals. Emily D., Liam H., Nor A., and Logan M. all wrestled well but did not place. Nicholas squandered a first period lead as he got caught being a little too aggressive and had to settle for fourth place. Owen P. won his second match of the season and he finished fourth place too. Cody P. Cody M was quite dominant in one match and lost out in two very close matches, settling with a third place. Nathan R doubled legs his opponents en route to the bronze medal. Darren K scored points, just not enough to settle for a silver medal. Aria G earned a silver medal while learning about wrestling the hard way. Adam B demonstrated his improved speed and balance as he fought by fought off his back and earned a gold medal. Josh C. was once again the cream of the crop as he muscled his way to his second gold medal of the season. This week, the team will venture off to St. Mary's in Kitchener on Wednesday for the final tournament before the break. Also, there will be a Carol of the Bells rehearsal in the elementary music therapy room at lunch today. And now we have Lily with another note. Thank you, Alex. Um... This is just a reminder that the Mohawk College Tour is tomorrow, so for those of uh, you who are going to the tour, um, please remember to meet at the bus hall um, for 8.30 tomorrow morning. It's 8.30. You have to be at the bus hall. And next up, we have weather. And looking at your Environment Canada weather forecast from the Environment Canada Weather Centre here in Brantford, it looks like today will reach a high of 3 degrees outside, so going above zero with a few flurries changing to rain showers near noon. Risk of freezing drizzle this morning with the winds out of the southwest at 30, gusting up to 50 kilometres an hour early this afternoon. Again, a high of plus 3. Tonight we'll be staying with, with this high of a low of plus 3 but it will be mainly cloudy with a 4% chance of showers this evening. Winds still at the southwest at 30, gusting up to 50 kilometers an hour. Temperatures will be steady near plus 3 overnight. Currently, it's already minus 1 out, but feels like minus 3 degrees Celsius outside. The winds are at 5 kilometers an hour from the south-southwest, and looking outside, it's mainly overcast. Snow on the ground, of course, it's here for the season now. And so winter boots, winter jacket and stuff, but... Maybe not a heavy winter jacket today, a light jacket, as it is supposed to stay fairly warm around the freezing point. Anyways, that is all for your announcements and Environment Canada weather forecast today. Everyone, have a marvelous Monday.